Welcome to another episode of our Eid Inspired Meals. I'm still the Hijabi Chef and today I'm with Abu our very Hamid, own. the Halal VJ. Inshallah, I'm trying to follow Sunnah by helping out in the kitchen and I hope you guys learn from that also. <laughs> Following Sunnah, why yes, you went, no. leaving me alone to clean the fish? Allah alam, but now I'm trying and everyone can see that so I think we should start cooking. Okay. So today we're going to be doing our second main meal and this is going to be grilled fish with some broccoli. I know broccoli is obviously like the new twist in this because you know, not many Nigerians usually cook it, but it's a vegetable that is very, very rich in vitamins. It looks like a tree. <laughs> Why? <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> okay, um, so the first thing that we're going to do now is to prepare the filling because obviously we've made slits in each of our fish and we're going to fill them up. Okay. Right. And for this recipe, we'll be needing two medium sized tilapia, some scotch bonnet or atarodo, half of a medium sized onion, one red bell pepper, some broccoli, as much or as little as you would like, salt to taste, some seasoning cubes, olive oil, and then we're going to need a whole bunch of spices. And a spoon. And a spoon. Yeah. <laughs> okay, so the first thing we're going to do now is to chop up our red bell peppers. Okay. Do you want to do that or do you want me to do that? I think I'm ready. What's your knife skill like? <sighs> Allah alam. Allah alam. Okay, we'll find out today then. <sighs> Bismillah. Am I supposed to call one one? Okay. Or everything you, together? You know what? I'll show you, I'll show you how to do stuff and then you know. You can finish up from there. Okay. So you want to keep the base of your knife down there. Yes. And then you want to rock. Wow. I don't think they teach us that in <laughs> engineering or elsewhere. But I think I'm good to go. Are you sure? Yeah, I'm a professional, inshallah. Okay. Alright. Watch and learn. You take some, I'm a chef. You cut, you cut, you cut. Kevin cool. Rola. I'm Allah just good. Akbar. I think you should do the rest. <laughs> okay. I've tried. I'll take over then. Yeah. Wait, what did you call this again? Red bell peppers. Red bell peppers. Did you know, you know, the, you know the normal green bell peppers that we use? Yeah, I think Nigeria. I do. Yeah, because the green pepper everybody knows in Nigeria. Yeah. But when the green pepper, the green pepper is actually the raw vegetable. And then when it starts to ripen, we get the yellow pepper. And then when it's fully ripe, then we get the red, red pepper. pepper. Okay? Wow. Okay, I'm so learning a whole lot. Now, can you help me add this to our bowl? That's easy. Do I use my hand or do can I use... the knife? Don't hold the knife. Okay. Ta-da! Okay, so the next thing is, I've sliced some scotch bonnets, which are just atarodo. Okay. But I'm going to finely chop it, just because, you know, not everybody wants like big chunks of pepper in their food. Is this, isn't this too much pepper? Well, that only has flavor. It has no spice. Spice. So that's fine. Right. Okay. So can you add this as well? Trust me. Ta da! Okay. So for now, we're done chopping off. Actually, we haven't done the onion. So next, I'm going to chop up the onions. Um, I think I'm just going to do slices. Yeah. I think onion makes me cry. So I'll try not to open my eyes. Okay, so I'm just going to slice it a bit more. Just to get thinner slices. Can you add it? Wow. Okay, so for now, that's all the chopping that we need to do. Next, we're going to add all of our spices. Just a bit, okay. So we're going to do some ginger. 
that works. Garlic, just a bit in case people don't want strong spices. Okay, some paprika, some. Is this pepperish? No, it's not. This is actually gotten from red bell peppers. But it's not pepperish? No, it's not. Please give me pepper. We need pepper. Pepper. Chimes. What does this do? It's like vegetables. <laughs> That's cute. Yes. Okay, so now I've got dry chili that you wanted, chili flakes. Okay, I should pour plenty, right? No, a bit, because we already added scotch bonnet, we don't want it to be too spicy. That's fine. And then we're going to add oregano. Yeah, put it, put it. Okay. You can always substitute thyme for oregano. Okay. Right. And then some black pepper. Another pepper again? Yes. Because, you know, each one has like a different flavor, so you want the flavors of all the different types of chili that you have. Wow. And then we're going to add some salt to taste. See, cooking is easier than they make it look. Just cut, put. Is it really? Yes. And then some seasoning cubes. Yeah. Your bowl should be looking quite colorful. Okay, so now I'm going to add some olive oil and can you just help me mix everything together? Okay. Gently. Oh. Am I supposed to taste? No. Okay. Gently. Very simple, I told you guys. Okay, so now the next thing that we're going to do is we're going to stuff our fish with this. Okay. I'm starting to feel very uncomfortable. Are you scared of the fish? No, just let's try. Let's see what will happen next session. Eh? What are we supposed to do? Put this inside there? Yes. With what? You can use your hand. Okay, your, you let, know, me, whatever see, you let want me see to. how it's going to be done. You don't want to do it? No, let me just see like a demo. Are you sure you don't want to do I it? I will try the second fish, inshallah. Fine. Okay, so we've already opened up a pocket in. And all you want to do is add it to the inside of the fish. You can use your hand, but I'm very scared of the pepper. Okay. So I would rather not. I just want to make sure you get as much stuffing as possible, right? Yes. Okay, I think it's my turn. Okay. So I'm going to touch this thing and... Are you sure you're not scared of No, you just wait, wait. Bismillah. 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 Alhamdulillah, Rabbil Alameen. Ar-Rahman. You sound like you're about to run a marathon. I... Uh, well, I, you know, I think it's time to like go read the oh, Quran. Oh, so now you want to also, run away. Well, but for those that we have done the Sunnah, the Sunnah is to try and help, inshallah. I have tried, and this is Abdul, this is Abdul so Hamid. So you're actually running away. The Halal VJ is signing out, inshallah. May Allah continue to spare us to witness more fish stuffings. Um, thank you very much. I'm off. Well, guys, that was our halal VJ running off set. Very scared of stuffing our fish. Now I'm going to go ahead and stuff the other one. Okay, so now that I've tidied up, we don't just want the inside of our fish to be flavorful. We also want the outside to be. So I'm just going to make a wet mixture for the outside. And I've just got some chili pepper. And then I'm going to add some salt. Seasoning cubes. And a bit of olive oil. And then I'm going to add our dressing to the outside of the fish. Since we're grilling the fish, I'm going to add it to our baking pan now. But before I do that, I'm going to grease it with some olive oil just so our fish doesn't stick to the bottom. And then I'm simply going to coat the other side of the fish with our dressing. You can add all of the extra vegetables that you have into the pan. I 
and then into the oven it goes. So while that fish is grilling in the oven, I'm going to prep the rest of our ingredients, which is mostly going to be the broccoli. All you have to do is just disturb it. Then I'm going to cut off the stems. And then I'm going to add the broccoli to the rest of my filling. You don't want it to be bland, so you're going to give it its own seasoning. A bit of salt and black pepper will do. Now we're just going to wait until our fish is fully ready to add this to our pan. Once your fish is almost ready, you want to add your broccoli and the rest of your filling. And then you want to pop it back in the oven for just about five minutes. So guys, our grilled fish and broccoli is ready and I've served it up on a plate. I don't know, my fishes are looking like they're kings in a palace. All I'm going to do now, because you know that a bit of acidity goes really well with fish, I'm just going to put some lemon wedges. Just in case your guests want to add the lemon wedges, I'm not going to put it over the fish and I'm going to let them do it for themselves. So I'm going to have a taste of the fish now. This is absolutely delicious, you guys. I'm sure your guests will be so excited to have this on your table for Eid. Thank you guys so much for watching. It's been real fun on set today from having our very own Halal VJ helping me out to this final outcome. I'm going to go now and finish all of this by myself. Assalamu alaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh.